Hey guys, welcome to science. All right, so we have talked about all the different types of animals in science. We had those five vertebrate animals that we talked about, the mammals and the fish and the reptiles and the amphibians and the birds. And then we also talked about insects, which were invertebrates. Well, now we're ready to talk about animal adaptations. So let's figure out what an animal adaptation is. So have you ever wondered how animals are able to survive in the wild? Because that's where an animal lives. It's called their habitat. And they have some adaptations that help them survive. And an adaptation is just a part of their body or something that's changed on their body that helps them survive. And there's many different habitats that animals can live in. So different animals have different adaptations that help them survive. For example, one of the habitats um, could be very cold, like the Arctic. The Arctic is a habitat where some animals live. Um, and those animals that live in the Arctic, they need adaptations to help them survive in the Arctic. Uh, so, you know, think about the way that you dress in the winter when it's really cold. You don't wear your shorts and your bathing suit when it's snowing. No, no, no. You have to wear nice, warm, probably coveralls, a nice, warm coat, maybe a hat and some gloves, probably some boots if you're going out in the snow. Those are all things that protect you and help you survive. Well, animals that live in the cold have things that help them survive, and we'll be talking about some of those. Um, the same thing for some of those habitats are very hot, like the desert. The desert is a habitat, and there's animals that live there. Think about the way that you dress in the summer. You don't wear a big coat and jeans in the summer, do you? No, you'd get too hot. So animals that live in the desert have to have ways that their body stays cool. Just like we put on bathing suits and go swim in the ocean, or we might wear shorts and a tank top to keep us cool, those animals that live in the desert habitat have adaptations that will help them survive in the desert. So remember, an adaptation is just something that the animal has that helps it survive. And it can help it survive by getting food or even maybe surviving from predators or other animals that are going to hurt it. So I've got two animals here. We've got a chameleon and a spider monkey. And both of these animals live in the jungle. And the jungle is a place that has a lot of trees. Um, and you can see that both these animals are in the trees. Well, both of these animals have adaptations that help them survive in the trees. One reason that they live in the trees is because it's safe up there. They're able to climb and get away from danger. Other animals that might want to hurt it, they can climb and get away from it in the trees. Plus, like you can see the chameleon here, a lot of the food that they eat is in the trees. So these animals need adaptations to help them stay in the trees. And if you'll look right here at this spider monkey's tail, you can see that his tail is wrapped around that tree branch. That tail helps it survive. It's an adaptation because his tail kind of acts like an arm or a leg, doesn't it? You can tell that he's hanging on by that. Matter of fact, he could let go with his arm and the tail would hold him up. So that tail is an adaptation that helps him climb. And climbing helps him stay safe and it helps him find food. The same thing if you can see up here at the chameleon's tail. The chameleon's tail does the same thing. It's wrapped around the branch and it helps it climb and it helps it stay safe. And it helps it from falling out of the tree. So they both have tails that help them climb and stay safe. Now this chameleon has another animal adaptation that helps it. Because chameleons like to eat bugs. But it's kind of hard to catch a bug. So what do chameleons have that help them catch bugs? Yeah, those big, long, sticky tongues. They shoot out real fast, can get the bug, and go back in. So chameleons have tongues that help them. That's an adaptation, too. So uh, this sticky tongue is an adaptation that helps it survive. It helps it get food better. 
if it didn't have a sticky tongue, it would be really hard for it to catch its food. If they didn't have tails that could be like arms and wrap around the branches, they would probably fall out of the trees and that would definitely hurt them. That might even kill them. So they have these adaptations that help them get what they need and stay safe. All right, I have some different animals here. Now these animals all don't live in the same habitat. Skunks live in forests, like around here. We have skunks around here in the forests. Um, elephants live in a place called a savanna, which is like in Africa, and it's kind of like a hot, dry place that doesn't have a lot of trees, but it's not really a desert. It's got a few trees, but it's not a desert, but it does stay hot all the time. It has a few trees. And then, of course, these sea turtles live in the ocean. But all of these animals have adaptations that help them survive in their habitat. So the, Mr. Skunk here, he has a really cool adaptation. What does he do if an animal is going to attack him? Yeah, he has that spray that he sprays that smells really bad. Plus, it burns their eyes and their mouth and stuff when it gets in it. So, he has a really cool adaptation to help him stay safe and stay protected from other animals. He can spray them with that stinky spray stuff. So, that is an adaptation that helps the skunk. It keeps predators from eating him. This elephant has an adaptation that helps it. Do you see the adaptation that helps the, an helps the elephant? Yeah, it's its trunk. This trunk is really, really helpful for the elephant. It helps it get food, it helps it get water, and plus it helps it pick up and move things if it needs to. Like maybe there's a tree in the way. It can pick it up and move it with its trunk. Its trunk's kind of like an arm. So it can move things around and pick things up and get food with its trunk. So that is a really big, huge adaptation that helps that elephant a lot. Can you imagine if the elephant didn't have its trunk, how hard it would be for it to get food and move things around and get water? Yeah, it would be super hard. So this adaptation helps him survive. All right, turtles, not just sea turtles, but all turtles have this hard shell. What does the hard shell do for the turtles? Yeah, it protects them from danger. So that's an adaptation that helps protect the turtle from things eating it. There might be a shark in the ocean, and if the shark tries to bite, it probably wouldn't hurt the turtle if it got it on the shell because the shell's so hard. So those shells are there to protect turtles, and that's why other turtles that live on the land, they can go inside their shells and keep um, safe from things that might eat it or hurt it. So those are all ad animal adaptations that help animals survive. Remember we had the skunk with his spray, the elephant with his trunk, turtles with their shells, egg chameleons with their curly tails and their sticky tongues, and spider monkeys with their really good arm-like tails that they've got. These were all animal adaptations. So for your assignment today, what I would need you to do is I want you to send me a chat. So all you have to do is go over to chat in Teams and I want you to tell me your favorite animal. It has to be a wild animal. That means an animal that lives out in the wild. Not a cat or a dog because they don't live in the wild. Not a horse because horses don't usually live in the wild. They live as pets. People have to take care of them. So I want to know your favorite wild animal and then we will talk about some adaptations that that animal has the next time we have class, okay? So all you have to do is tell me your favorite animal and then we'll talk about it the next time. So just send me a chat with your favorite wild animal. All right, guys, I can't wait to hear about your animals and we'll talk about its adaptations the next time we have class. All right, bye guys.